everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. A very happy Thursday out there to everybody tuning in today for Thoughts on Thursday. I want to talk new releases again. I really have been enjoying talking about all the new releases in makeup. I've been having some fantastic conversations down in the comments. So let's jump onto Trend Mode's website and see what's new. Okay, I will leave Trend Mood's Instagram um, link down in the comment section in case you are unaware that is what I'm on her Instagram now. <laughs> but that, that's, she does really, really good at keeping up with what's n new releases, sneaks, and like when the availability prices, anything, all that, all that, all, all that good stuff. Anyways, the first thing that did catch my attention was by Charlotte Tilbury. I just... Uh, I, I love the theme that she's doing for the holidays. This is a Magic Star highlighter. Ah, it is so pretty, but at the same time, it is one of those that I feel like if I use it, it's going to bruise on me if I'm not tan. Um, I really want it. <laughs> so expensive. It is so pretty though. I love like the the Christmas holiday like star oh glitter goodness. What are these? What are these? Why haven't I seen these? What are these? Uh these are by Nabla Reflection Skin Glazing line includes six shades. These I love the packaging. Like the clear pinky. I, you know what, I probably, I will stock more swatches of these. I think I'm going to get it because they, they came in with a palette, was it in the spring or the early summer, earlier this year, and I debated about getting it. I really, really wanted it, and I never did get it, but now it's at Ulta. So, it'll probably be a purchase that's new to me, but not like a right now purchase, I guess. Um... And I probably will pick up one of these highlighters because just because I'm curious into the brand. MAC. Oh, look at this. <sighs> look. Oh, look at all this MAC. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I will admit. Okay. I will. Oh, oops. Okay. The Christmas collection. The Starry Eyed Kits are $39.50. The Retro Matte Kits is $29.50. Um, the bags are $39.50. That's usually, um, the Advent Calendar is $195. I wish I could afford that. I just, I, in my head, I can't do it. I, I really like the Mac formula. I'll take, I'll make sure, like, photos are up so that you guys can see, um, kind of what I'm seeing. I really, um, the Starry Eyed Kit, I'm gonna check in store, but I really, really like their lip products, like liners, uh, the bullet lipsticks, um, and the lip glosses. They're really, really, like, one of my favorites, and they do have the cutest bag, but they also have, like, a set of all of that, so I might... the big mini box. I just want the box. I want, I, oh, I don't, mm, I will keep an eye on that. If it goes on sale enough, I will probably buy it just because it's super duper cute. Um, but I, I absolutely do think I will, I am, okay, we'll say this. I am definitely putting the lip bag, um, on my gift list. Won't be mad if I don't get it, but I do really want it. I actually think I want this more than the Charlotte Tilbury. But I kind of want to try the Charlotte Tilbury formula. They're both going on the list. I can't help it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. I I wasn't going to just because um I wasn't going to, <laughs> but I will. Uh, something that has really caught my attention, and this has kind of been um, it's been sneaked a couple. Of, weeks back anyways um the K 
Kat Von D Lolita palette is something I would buy. Um, it's really pretty. It does kind of give me um, Too Faced, one of the gingerbread palettes kind of vibes. Um, so if I really, really wanted it, I would grab that. But it is such a beautiful story. I love the packaging. And I, I know some people think that it's overkill and like the, it's it's overplayed, I guess, um, the Lolita everything but I I I I love neutrals and I love this. I will not be picking it up though because um uh just personal reasons I don't support the brand. I'll say that. Ah uh, vaccinate your kids. Something else I want to talk about this is not new this week but my feelings have kind of changed a little bit on it. When I originally like talked about this was it two weeks ago? I think um, the Dominique Cosmetics sneaked the the outside of the the packaging and it's a, like a knitted sweater. It's super cute. It's the perfect color. It's I I love 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 makeup and knitting, and I loved it. And then I saw it inside and I was like, eh, that's kind of expensive for like twenty nine dollars for five shadows. But then it's a kit, so you get the two lip glosses, right? The lip glosses. Matte Mauve, Warm Nude, Gold Flex. So, no, you get one lip liquid lipstick and one gloss. And the eyeshadow palette for $30. Um, I want this. I have changed my mind because I, I, I am a sucker for the mini sizes. I'm a sucker for, like, it's a really good way to try it. That's why I really like my Ipsy, um, because it, it gets me to try things uh, that I don't normally would try. And I am very, very curious into the entire line. I've heard great things about the eyeshadow formula as well as like the lip products. So I'm really curious and I have decided I will probably be picking this up. Um, And I did want to let you guys know. There is a new beauty brand that is going to launch. It is created by Kimchi Chic and NYX Cosmetics. Um, and they are launching with... A really cool eyeshadow palette. Um, I probably won't be getting it. To be very honest, I probably won't be getting it just because those um, those aren't unique colors. But I love the packaging. It's super cute. My daughter is probably gonna want the palette. Probably gonna want the palette. Uh, so that probably will go on her Christmas wish list. Um, she actually wants a lot of the sugar pill stuff. Oh 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 oh. Um, I'm not sure if everybody or anybody is watching the Jeffree Star, uh, or not the Jeffree Star, I guess it's Shane Dawson, the, um, the series that he's putting out. I, I am. I am very curious into the background of how makeup is, like, thought of and made in the process, and I, I love that learning, uh, I, I love learning. End of discussion. But anyways, they sneak peeked a, like, some of the shades or all of the shades. I'm not sure if they're all of the shades or some of them. Um, how they're going to set up the palette. If they're going to change any of the colors. I'm not sure. I like the color stories. I think it is so cute. I don't own anything by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I really, really want to. I just haven't really bit the bullet and like bought anything. And the bigger palettes stress me out. I say that a lot. <laughs> the bigger palettes stress me out. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see it, but I'm really nervous too because um I I think it's gonna sell out like super fast. It is Wednesday morning, um and this is going up tomorrow for Thursday. I, I in was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday his merch launched launched and I was able to see like the sneak peek of the merch and I was like, Oh that that's really, really cute. And it, it everything sold out. So that was just the merch. So I'm assuming that it's it's all gonna sell out really quick. Um, Trend Mood does have the Lorac um holiday sets pictured on her Instagram. So I mean, we can talk about it. it's been what week three that we're talking about this. <laughs> um, is some of it two of the palettes in the, the lip gloss set and the lip kit is all available on Alta's website. I do want all of them. So I'm waiting for everything to come out, as I said last week, uh, and I don't know if it was, like, something posted in their Instagram stories or if they had answered somebody, like, commented back on that something. Uh, I think, I think it's all going to be available on their website the 20th. 
in case you are interested in something. <laughs> the, the, the 20th, I think, is when everything is coming out. And some people are getting, um, in their PR packages, they're getting this body face highlighter with a brush and I don't I haven't seen any prices or anything on that but I really want it <sighs> I would say that I am patiently waiting but it's I'm not I'm not I refresh the 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 Lorac website multiple times sometimes I even close it out I go on other like my my computer I'll check on the computer I'll check on my phone I'll check on my husband's phone thinking maybe my my browser is blocking me <laughs> Kylie Cosmetics has a holiday set. This is her holiday set. Or is this her birthday set? No, this is her holiday set. It's really, really pretty. I did see this in person. Actually, that almost gives me the Lolita vibes. I would almost rather buy this than the other one. Oh, maybe I will touch it next time I'm in store. Um, It is really, really pretty in store. Um, It is $38. I'm not sure that I will really get it. Um, It's pretty, though. It is really, really pretty. I will say that the packaging, the color story, it's 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 lovely. Oh, KK Beauty is coming out with their holiday set. Doesn't have any. Um, it doesn't have any prices, but I have always wanted to try the stuff. It sells out, and I am horrible about like buying online. I mean, I do it. It happens. I just I don't enjoy shopping online because then I have to wait. Um. Not my favorite. But anyways, it does say that it is coming to Ulta the 20th. So that I I don't know that my my store will will get that, but um yeah. Oh, 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 I will talk about this just because I already got it. Anyways, um the Laneige has a they actually have a few holiday sets. I was at Sephora over the weekend and they have this holiday set. You get the full size regular sleeping mask and then two minis that are supposed to be like special for the holiday. I love them. I've been using them since I got them and my lips have drastically changed. I've always, not always, I can't say always. Last, last fall, last fall I found uh, Mamond um, lip sleeping mask and I've been using that religiously, um, mostly through the summer, but not like religiously as through the winter months and through last fall and it really really did help and it is cold and dry here in Michigan well I mean it's kind of wet today and yesterday but anyways um it's not humid anymore so the air is drier and I've I've needed it and it, it's not helping it wasn't helping so I decided when I seen this it is $29 so I did, did decide to get it um my friend Kyra, I because I talked to her about it, and she has the regular size Laneige, and she's like, I've I've had it for two years. Like this will last you. It's worth it. Um. So yeah, and I've I've really been enjoying it. I see the hype in it. Um. ColourPop is the Disney collection is in the Ulta stores. I did see it. This is so cute. I don't want to talk about it. Oh 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 oh. I'm super excited about this. Um. La Rock. Cosmetics is coming out with another um, artistry book. Pro artistry book is what they're calling it. Um, it looks a lot, like the top half of it to me looks a lot like the palette that just came out. Um, and then the bottom half is like very, very, very much so colorful. My friend Heather said that she's going to get it. I'm super excited about it. I'm still debating about the other one with like the highlighters, the one that's just warm tone, because I don't have a lot of warm tones. And so that would be really unique to my collection. I just, I'm not sure that I would ever gravitate to those blues. I don't know. And plus it's very big. Um, and that stresses me out, but I did want to mention it. It's really, really pretty. Um, and I was just super excited to see that they're coming out with something else. And let's not end the video before we talk about ColourPop because they, they, are dropping something else this week. <laughs> it is their Bye Bye Birdie collection. It is um like pink, uh, uh not flamingo Kelly, but <laughs> pink peacock themed. Uh, I will not be getting anything, but I did want to mention it. It just, it does look like the, the set was X's and O's that they just did. It looks, to me, it looks a lot like that even the shades look a lot like it, I guess. Maybe they're a slightly more pink. Um, 
full collection came out. Um, yeah. So that is all I want to talk about for this week. There was a lot more that was re sneak released, but I just, I, I either don't have any opinions on it or just don't have any interest in it, I guess. Um, is there anything that I am running out to buy this week? Um, no. Uh, in, unless La Rock drops their full holiday collection, then I will be buying that. But um, there is nothing on really that was released that is like having me run out. And I, I did see the ColourPop collection in store. I didn't grab anything. They didn't have, they had the testing highlighters. Oh, and she said that they didn't include like the, the stock for the highlighters, which she was really annoyed. Um, they did have the palette. I didn't touch the palette because if I touch it, I was going to want it. The packaging is beautiful. I'm still not saying no to it, but I just, it's, it's not, it's, it's a no for now. Um, I almost don't want it just because it's, it's a lot of repeated uh, shades. So, uh, there's that. Let's see. Looking at the pictures, um, Nabla Cosmetics, I, I do want to try their, their highlighters, but it's not anything that I'm going to get out, get run and get out. Hopefully that's not, I don't think that was a, a holiday release. I think that's just an addition to their line. So I am curious. Mac, I am putting one of the, the lip bag set. I am putting that on my gift list. Um, as well as the Dominique Cosmetics. Um, and yeah, I, I, that's, that's about it. I'm, I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching the Shane Dawson palette. I'm watching the Shane, Shane Dawson palette and I, I'm intrigued by the KKW. Um, I will look at it when it comes in its stores. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a lot of fun this week. What caught your attention and are you putting anything on your wish list or are you running out to buy any of it? Let me know down in the comments and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.